G'day team, Mr. Minimalism here for our minimalistic workout of the week. Today we're going to be tackling snake bite. Now, our snake bite, we need to choose two exercises, one being a kettlebell grind, so a press, squat, even your pull-ups if you choose, and we're going to choose one ballistic exercise, so you swing, clean, or snatch. Today I've chosen the squat and the swing with double bells. You can do two-handed swings, you can do a single bell work, to completely up to you and what level you're at. And we're gonna break it down into doing our grinds first, followed by our ballistics. Now, the snake bite sequence, we're gonna be working 10 of the grinds and 50 of the ballistics. And we're gonna work down the ladder in a fashion of working down one repetition in the grind. So we're gonna 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to one. And we're gonna be working down in fives on the ballistics. So 50, 45, 40, and so on, until we hit one and five to finish the session. Now the idea of the rest in between the session today is you're building the rest of the, after you finish your grinds and ballistics, but rest as little as possible to get the session done with perfect form. Now, as I said, you can choose any sort of grinds and any sort of ballistics to partner up. You can use your press, and clean. You can also use your uh, your pull up and your snatch if you so choose. Don't forget you're working a lot of repetitions here, so it's a high level of volume. So if you haven't mastered a move in practice and technique, don't add intensity to it. All right, here's a demonstration of the session you're going to have to do today. Once you hit your 10 squats, we're gonna go in for 50 swings. And up to 50. Rest once you complete that part of the set. Remember, lots of repetitions, so keep the weight to an achievable weight you know you can achieve for the, throughout the whole session. And choosing a grind, and a ballistic for your session. Tune in next week for a workout. Thanks very much, and don't forget, less is more.